we're doing an update on how our wallapini project's coming. As you see, we've got the top of the root cellar sticking out. Uh, the white, the membrane, protective variable cover. We went ahead and uh, to protect that when we were back then, put carpet uh, to protect that membrane because we didn't want these rocks uh, puncturing the membrane, which was foam behind that. And so we went ahead and put carpet on there and backfilling against it. You can see the carpet there, and we'll finish the backfill as the project progresses. So just a little bit about the carpet. Um, if you're going to build your own earth-sheltered uh, greenhouse and you are going to incorporate a root cellar like this and you need carpet, just call any local carpet supply store and ask them um, if they're replacing any carpet uh, for any of their customers and if those customers want us to pick up the carpet. That's how we got this carpet. We just called the carpet outlet store and found a person that was having their carpet replaced and we just went and picked up their used carpet. Uh, you don't care what it looks like, you're gonna bury it anyway. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about the amenities, the water, the uh, electric power that we dug in before it uh, froze. Okay, uh, we went ahead and tapped our water line that uh, was buried through here was several years ago. I put buried uh, cross free hydrants in a line through here. Went ahead and put a T in the line eight foot down and tapped and put a curb stop in the wall of heat. Also, at this point, I had conduit years ago. And you can see it stubbed up and taped off so that water doesn't get in the conduit. Talk louder, honey. Uh, you'll notice the big four inch black corrugated line. That is going to be a boiler circuit from our outside wood boiler. That's two two inch hex line that are insulated, buried in the ground, trenched on over, as you can see, and you see it stubbed up there. You can see two other black corrugated lines coming up in the bottom of that boiler. One is feeding our house now. We feed our, our house as well as our potable hot water and also our shop. I have a bathroom. And the boiler is enough capacity. It's a pretty good sized boiler, uh, BTU value. Plus we to have handle the that. solar, the upcoming solar, hydronic solar panels. Yes. <clears throat> Uh, where we're at right now, uh, we're in the sump of the uh, root cellar, and we went ahead and placed uh, some cement slabs that we had left over from footings and also pouring the walls and the ceiling of the root cellar. You can see the three different slabs. I had leftover concrete, so I had some forms, and they're, they're three by four. And you can see the makings of our first uh, gabion wall, in which we will fill with rock and in that uh, we're prepared and then you see we use the the filter cloth on the back there also we will fill uh, behind it to prevent any dirt or any bugs or anything coming through that way we will not insulate that part though uh, when you're looking down here we're gonna have a stair uh, column going down it'll be about four foot wide to about that second cement slab and uh, this is how we'll access from the top uh, Eight foot down in the ground. So from these stairs we'll be able to go right taking us into the cold storage and then there will be the walls and the door up into the earth sheltered greenhouse right here. So one access to both both areas kind of a little I don't know foyer or whatever you call this where the staircase comes down. So that gives you an idea of what the Gabby and baskets look like. Uh, you just fill those up with a lot of rock, and we have a lot of that. And that is what we're making all the interior walls of this earth-sheltered Wallapini-style greenhouse with, is this type of uh, gabion basket. So, more to come. Is there anything else? That's all I have. Thanks for watching.